back to the Truth Quest DLC and and Man Eater. Uh, this is probably going to be the finale, but uh, <laughs> last time my game straight up killed itself and crashed. Just after munching on a single little fish. Private beaches remind us that the guile of the Illuminati has accomplished its goal and that we've all become servile rule followers. Like some folks, I am not easily pacified by manufactured spectacles like senior professional golf tours. I'd just like to remind you that the Founders specifically denied Congress the power to print paper currency. and more impulse control with them. Nowhere else 
in town got that mango butter facial scrub. I like Park. The NWO's hatred of free markets and affordable consumer goods has truly reached its apotheosis. The insectoids have worked hard to ensure that they and their conspirators continue to occupy Port Clovis's positions of power, such as Planning Commission Director Steve Trake. What? In the event of a global crisis, will you have enough fettuccine Alfredo? Prepper Pasta's five-gallon Alburo bucket comes with 60 servings of that reliable home-cooked favorite, just like mine. In an emergency, this is just the beginning. Next comes the countrywide search and seizure of our weapons, gold stores, and these crack beef stroke. Out there, voted painted sails. But, you know, so do a lot of other New York couillons. Intimidated by the shark's fierce love of country and implacable devotion to the ideals of liberty, the bioweapon flees to open water. So many sheeple going about their daily lives, ignorant that their minds are held captive by forces they don't know or understand. That about wraps it up.
Humans' attention spans are short. They've already forgotten about the shark and her many crimes, so thus ends the bounty. close to the Army Corps of Engineers informs me that the group has been involved in a purposely directed Gulf depopulation program for years. It appears that the bioweapon is not only carrying a viral agent, but the HPV vaccine as well. Atomic bio.